We are indeed, and well, our leopard is very, very stationary at this stage. He is curled up into a tight ball and he's having a really good nap at this stage. And I would imagine he's just waiting for the sun to start dipping a little bit further before he gets up and starts moving. It's obviously been a long weekend for little Osana and he seems as though he's quite tired. He's curled as tight as possible. And this is when cats really have a good nap, is when they're curled up like this. And you can see his ears still move every now and then. So he is paying attention to what's going on, but he's trying to just get some rest in before the darkness of night comes in and he has to start then moving around and trying to utilize that cover of night to start hunting. So at this stage, it's all quite sort of placid and there's been no animals that I've seen coming down towards Twin Dams. And so I would imagine that a situation will arise at some point because it is the time of the day where things like impala and nyala and various other antelope species are going to come down this way and, and start to get a drink and so I would have hopefully sorry that's my fault I just released the clutch a little bit I mean the brake should I say and so he should hopefully start to be able to then stalk something around here but he is definitely one tired cat at this stage Uh, you can see that he's got beautiful ears, so he's got these white tips to the ears and that black marking, which is very distinct on leopards. And the reason why they have both white and black is because when they are in these thickets and in these shady areas, it's quite difficult because there's dappled light and it makes it hard to be able to see what's going on for a little cub to follow its mother. And so flashes of white really stand out in the dark shady areas, whereas the black will stand out in the light tan colored grass and that will allow then this leopard to be able to see its mother and then follow it around so that's just a following mechanism that they have and the reason why it's on the back of the ear is just so that when this animal is seen um, by prey animals it's not going to be able to actually pick up that coloration on the back now the net rat you want to know how long leopards will stay with their mother well Generally, you'll have a situation where leopards would be anywhere between 14 months and two years with their mom. I have seen extremes on both sides. So I've seen a leopard that um, was able to, well, it left its cubs at 10 months old, and that leopard actually did survive. We know that Hassan and Shungila, unfortunately, have been without a mom since a year old. But I've also seen the extreme on the opposite side where there was a young male leopard that stayed with his mom until he was almost four years old, which was crazy. But it's not common to have that situation generally between like I say 14 months and two years is when they will leave their cubs and you can see he's not fussed at all by the commotion that's going on at the moment there's cars that have come up and down we're right near the main road so we're just north of the main road and a lot of the cars have just kind of been bypassing and driving up and down and well Hosanna really hasn't worried too much at all but look at that camouflage you can see how well he blends in if there was something like an impala to approach and he went flat on the ground there and even dropped his head further it would be almost impossible to see him and you can see the spots break up his outline and make it very very difficult to actually know that he's there and he's lying in an open section you can imagine if he went into that little thicket behind him so if he went into this sort of area over here it would be quite tough to actually know where he is and he would really blend in well we're just lucky that he's lying in a slight open section which allows us to be able to, to uh, see him a lot better Ooh, Jackie, you're asking when I think he ate last. Well, Jackie, I've, not recently, given the fact that he just got sick and very little came up. In fact, it all looked more like bile and, and a little bit of fur than anything else. So there wasn't a huge chunk of meat that came out or any sort of big clumps of food that he that he got sick. So I don't think he's eaten probably in the last at least two days. Um, so I know that he killed a Franklin at the beginning of the week, which would have been a very small meal and, would, and was chomped up quite quickly. And then from there, I don't know what he's eaten. We haven't seen him since the last, the last time we saw him. I don't think he's had any meals that I know of. I will ask around and try and find out, but I don't think he's had anything in the last three, four days. That would be my estimate. Um, he's looking healthy, though, otherwise. His condition is still really good. His stomach isn't completely sucked in. So he's not like he hasn't fed in the last week. 
but I would say probably three, four days since he had a really decent meal. He's probably had a nice Franklin here and there, but that's really not going to make his belly swell too much, but it will just sustain him from day to day. But given that he's just gotten sick and there was very little that came out, I don't think he's eaten too much in the last couple of days. But isn't that amazing that you can sit here and we can talk and this leopard is able to discern the difference between all the tones of us as well as the nat natural sounds. If he heard an impala alarm call, his head would pop up immediately and he would look. But yet us talking has no effect whatsoever. You can see he doesn't pay any attention to that. But natural sounds would definitely disturb him. Now, Nancy, you want to know if leopards are solitary. Well, yes. So leopards are the only true solitary cat that we get in this area. You'll find that cheetahs, the males will form coalitions. Females only really have company when they have cubs, but males will form coalitions. Lions, we know, are pride animals. And so the leopard is solitary as solitary can get. You'll find the males very seldom spend time with anybody else. They'll sometimes spend time with a female if she's got a carcass that they can rob from her or if she's in heat and they can mate. Um, but it's not extended periods of time. You'll also find that the females, only when they have cubs, will actually spend any time um, with another leopard. So solitary as it can be, um, there are times where they will come together if there's, a, like I said, food or, or mating or they do bump into each other on territorial patrols. But those social interactions generally are very short and not very long at all and not like something with a coalition of, of a cheetah or a lion pride. So it's a little bit different. Right, well, little Hosanna is still very sleepy, so we're going to stay with him and try and see if he's not going to wake up. Like I said, it is that time of the day where hopefully he should start to stir and start to move around. The Franklins are starting to call as the sun is dipping, and I'm pretty sure he is going to get moving at some point. And so while we do that, let's go back to Ali, who's apparently still exploring around, and hopefully is going to have some luck around the next corner.